Hi guys, welcome to the RPB Resilience Commission. Now we have to discuss about uh, advanced nemoid reaction selection number one. So the lecture number one include on Shapiro reaction. Shapiro reaction. So generally, Shapiro reaction is nothing but the conversion of olefins from tosyl hydrozones from tosyl hydrozones. Okay, now the conversion of olefins from prosyl hydrozones uh, in presence of a uh, strong bases, uh, in presence of uh, strong and uh, active bases, uh, strong as well as uh, active bases, then it is said to be a uh, Shapiro reaction. Then it is said to be Shapiro reaction. Generally, uh, tosyl hydrozones, so the term tosyl hydrozone means tosyl hydrozone. Okay, generally, tosylation means a uh, tosyl group, which is nothing but uh, like a paramethyl. Paramethyl that means a toluene sulfonic acid. Okay, this is called uh, OTS, uh, tosyl, tosyl uh, sulfonic acid. So paratolyl sulfonic acid. Now here, instead of H, uh, the total term which is uh, denoted as uh, OTS, uh, tosyl oxy. So without S, yes, one of the oxygen is uh, less than the tosyl, uh, tosyl group, but then it's said to be TS. So then it is called uh, tosyl. Okay. Now the tosyl hydrozone one means ketone. So generally, this came from the ketone ketone whenever treated with a uh, hydrazine this is the hydrazine so hydrazine plus a uh, uh, ketone then it becomes hydrozone then it becomes hydrozone with the uh, elimination of water molecule with the elimination of uh, water molecule now here we have to take in the instead of hydrazine we have to take the tosyl hydrazine tosyl hydrazine now here the tosyl hydrazine treated with ketone compound now it gets a uh, tosyl hydrazone tosyl hydrozone so this is the basic requirement for the like a Shapiro reaction okay the first requirement is a uh, tosyl hydrozones now the second one is it requires a uh, strong basis it requires a uh, strong basis like a uh, organo lithium bases are the best examples organo lithium bases so organo lithium bases are best example for the Shapiro reaction again uh, like a large basis large bases also used in the Shapiro reaction now the third one is so base requirement is uh, more more and more bases are used now that is nothing but excess of base excess of base these are the basic requirements to fulfill the uh, Shapiro reaction from tosyl hydrozones to olefin now we have to look out uh, reaction Okay, now the reaction of Shapiro is now generally it is the tosyl hydrozone. This is nothing but a tosyl hydrozone, two tosyl hydrozone. So the tosyl hydrozone in presence of uh, excess of like a uh, lithium bases like LDA, beta lithium, methyl lithium, whatever maybe. So excess of uh, lithium bases now it converts olefins, it converts. Uh, Olefins. Maybe sometimes we have to take the cyclic tosyl hydrozones. So here also it converts the olefins. Okay, it converts the olefins. Now we have to remember another uh, another time the conditions. First one is uh, tosyl hydrozones. This is the basic requirement tosyl hydrozones. Now the second one is strong base. Now the third one is a very important one. So tosyl hydrozone having the alpha hydrogen at least one alpha hydrogen at least one alpha hydrogen one alpha hydrogen of uh, tosyl hydrogen now here it is a tosyl hydrogen tosyl hydrogen at same position is called alpha now here it is called alpha here it is called alpha here it is called at least one tosyl hydrogen ch bond is required to fulfill the Shapiro reaction now we have to look down the mechanism very interesting mechanism okay Now the mechanism is tosyl hydrogen in presence of base like large base so it becomes olefin it becomes a olefin so the mechanism pathway that is mechanism is nothing but a pathway of the uh, how they are producing the product now we will go to the path of the reaction mechanism okay now here N N H Tosyl. Here it is. Uh, I represent the hydrogen uh, over there. Now here it is a hydrogen. 
So in presence of a strong bases like LDA, it is a strong base. So general bases, uh, it easily abstract the proton over the uh, heterocyclic atom. Heterocyclic, uh, sorry, heteroatom over the heteroatom. Why? Because uh, these uh, heteroatom attached protons are more acidic. As again, why you use the strong bases? That means uh, at the same time, the LDA will abstract the proton from alpha position to the uh, hydrogen. Alpha position to the hydrogen. Now here, two protons abstract at the same time abstract at the same time okay then um, then it becomes like a here n double bond n n minus ts here it is double bond okay here it is double bond so nitrogen is a more more electronegativity atom carbon is less electronegativity atom so less electronegative atom will act as a more nucleophile that's why so carbon negative charge will shift it towards the carbon nitrogen double bond sorry carbon carbon single bond then it becomes a double bond now here excess of a carbon counter it shift the double bond nature to nitrogen nitrogen between the nitrogen nitrogen now here tocyl group elimination takes place tocyl group elimination takes place now it gives like a double sorry single bond n double bond n here the minus now here it is a double bond now here it is double bond so here the negative charge shifted towards the nitrogen atom then bonded to uh, bonded two electrons will shift to the olefinic carbon now it becomes minus now it becomes minus so this minus it may be abstract the electrophile here it forms the electrophilic olefin electrophilic olefin so instead of that uh, now we have to make the another uh, diagrammatic structure of those electro electrophilic addition now here it forms the negative charge on the olefinic carbon now we use the h plus as the electrophile now we will get the cyclo olefin cyclohexene now instead of h plus we used any electrophile any electrophile here the electrophile is substituted electrophile is substituted now here so we used the like a dmf dimethyl formamide so in them dmf it having the formal formaldehyde group as a electrophile okay or alkyl halide maybe like a methyl halide or um, ethyl halide now it forms the methyl halides like alkyl group again acyl groups it may be attack over the acyl acyl halides acyl halides so this is the main mechanism which is involved in the Shapiro reaction now we have to look out uh, the residual selectivity of the uh, Shapiro reaction The residual selectivity of a Shapiro reaction. Residual selectivity of Shapiro reaction. Okay. Residual selectivity means uh, now substrate having the more than one efficient positions. Now, but our attacking reagent uh, will attack only one position over the another. Then it's said to be like a residual selectivity. Now here it is the tocyl hydrogen. It is the tocyl hydrogen. So now here. So this tocyl hydrogen having the two alpha hydrogens, both two alpha hydrogens having the similar environment. That's why there is no problem to form the double bond over either right side or left side. Doesn't matter. Why? Because both will give the same product. Both will give the same product. Instead of that, now here, so unsymmetrical uh, tocyl hydrogen is present. Unsymmetrical tocyl hydrogen is present. Now here, so it is com complete. Uh, Either formation of less steric side or more steric side or more steric side. Now here competition is there. Competition is there. Either double bond formed over the more substituted side or less substituted side. The more substituted side or less substituted side. Now among these two, one is major, another one is minor. How do you uh, define uh, which is the major product, which is the minor product? Now here, so whenever the first step of uh, mechanism. N N H T S N N H T S. Here one proton is there. Here also one proton is there. So the minimum requirement is uh, one alpha position. So now here it having the two alpha positions. Uh, so our base is a strong and large base. Strong and large bases. So many of the Shapiro reactions we use the lithium bases only. Okay. So the large bases can easily abstract the proton from less steric crowding side. Less steric 
clouding side but uh, so it cannot uh, obstruct the proton from more critic side more crowding uh, side more steric crowding so it is a uh, unfavorable reaction but it is a favorable reaction but it is a favorable reaction that's why the proton obstruction takes place at the less sterically less crowded side sterically less crowded side that's why the olefin formation product of the less crowded double bond is major okay so the less crowded double bond olefin product is major the more substituted double bond is minor in case of uh, like a large basis in the use of large basis so generally Shapiro reaction we used in the large and strong basis only large and strong basis that's why so sterically less crowded is the regio selectivity of a Shapiro reaction sterically less okay so sharp plus is a sterically sorry not sharp plus the Shapiro is a sterically less crowded set now we have to uh, look out the previous year examples previous year some of the examples Okay, now the first example, which is already given. So the first step is NH NHTS. Okay, now then after uh, like a LDA in case of excess, your LDA excess. Now it becomes a olefin. Either uh, this side a double bond formed or that side. So now here uh, sterically less crowded side is major. Another one is minor now the second example is now here it it is it is also like a competition of the tocyl hydrogen reaction tocyl hydrogen reaction now the same conditions here in either lda or tertiary beta lithium whatever it may be now here it forms the double bond either uh, like a one two three position or Three pole position. Now here two types are possible. It is alpha position. It is also alpha position. Now here two types are from, uh, possible. Now uh, either two three double bond is measured or three four double bond is measured. So here due to the resonance effect, due to the resonance effect, uh, two three are conjugate to each other. That's why two three is nothing but a uh, adjacent position is major in the product. Now it is a uh, minor, which is the minor. Now the third example is. like a N NHTS here one hydrogen is there but it is sterically more crowded so that's why here proton abstraction takes place at the right side now we will get the only one product as a single one only one product which is nothing but uh, like a um, Shapiro reaction example now we'll go through the fourth example fourth fifth sixth fourth example N NHTS in presence of tertiary butyl lithium excess excess of uh, tertiary butyl lithium. Here also two two types of uh, possibilities is there. Now it may be one possible. It may be one possible. Okay. So in among these two here it forms the large conjugation with a benzene ring. Now he, it uh, uh, it does not forms the conjugation. It does not participate in the conjugation with benzene ring. So now here conjugation will stabilizes the product as a measure. So it is a minor. In previous case also conjugation uh, resonance will stabilizes the product as a measure. Now here the fifth one which is given in uh, like a 2000, 2019 gate 2009 gate. <coughs> 2009 gate NH NHTS like a, or directly they are given in the N, NHTS in presence of a LDA excess amount LDA excess amount this question will came from the 2019 gate 2011 CSA 2011 CSA net okay now which is nothing but here there is no proton so proton is not available that's why here there is no formation of the double bond again it violates the brutes rule that's why it, here it is not possible for the double bond so it is only possible to form the double bond over there okay now it is the major product it is the major product instead of that uh, LDA followed by the DMF there if they are given in the LDA followed by the DMF now we have to uh, we have to get the product as a double bond attached aldehyde double bond attached aldehyde so these are the best example for the Shapiro reaction if it is possible we will discuss some more examples of the Shapiro reaction okay 
think it, the number is 6 or 7. All right, now here, it is alpha, beta, unsaturated uh, carbonyl compound. The first step is a uh, tosyl hydrozone, tosyl hydrozone. The second step is a uh, tertiary butyl lithium excess. So now we will get the product as uh, like this. Is it right or wrong? So let us check whether it is possible or not throughout the mechanism. Now this eighth one is uh, like a... Uh, Now here, it may be positive, here it is the double bond over there, here double bond over there, N, N, H, T, S. So in case the same reagents we are used, now we will get the product as a measure, which is the measure product. These are the best example for the Shapiro reaction. If it is possible, so we will discuss the, this reaction when compared to the Baumford reaction, how they are used, how it is uh, reduced selectively less created side uh, over there, uh, how they are used in the sterically more crowded side. Okay, so it is uh, very helpful for the CSR learners. Okay, uh, thank you for watching.